Hey everyone, it is Grace Victoria and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Um, I am back at the orthodontics today to get, I think we're doing my bottom braces today. Um, and I think they're tightening up the top, so that'll be handled today. Um, I'm waiting in my car. I've already checked in. So I'm a little nervous, honestly, because I don't know, like I woke up really discouraged about putting the bottom braces on just because I actually developed a canker sore right here because of a cut from floss that was there prior earlier this week and it developed into a canker sore and the fact that um uh my bottom braces are getting put on today it's a little discouraging because I'm just like well that's going to be 10 times more painful and then I'm also having to go back to a liquid diet which honestly is not healthy at all um in, in, in a sense that, you know, you got to watch your proteins, you know, you're going to have to go make smoothies or go buy smoothies because being on a liquid diet, there's only so many options you have for, uh, for braces and, and for being able to chew and eat and, you know, consume all the nutrients that you need. So I'm a little discouraged today. Uh, I'm going to talk to the, uh, orthodontist today about possibly doing something for the sore and then also, um, I'm going to ask him about some other options, uh, regarding the bottom braces as in like possible retainers to straighten these teeth out. Cause they're not that bad. Um, and honestly, I just don't want to go through the whole process of this again, but if all else fails, then I will have bottom braces on. I will, I will honestly get over it. I'm just going to try and look for different options just because I, I really just don't want to go through that process again. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's just a little nerve wracking and discouraging, you know, but you know, honestly, I have to think about the end result. My end result is my wedding. Um, and that's what these braces are for. They are for, um, the only reason I had them put on when I had them put on is because of my wedding, um, which is now, what is it? A year and three months away. <clears throat> so, and they're, they're estimating that this will take two years to fix, but one of the good things that I really like about my orthodontist is that he said that if this tooth comes down to where it needs to be and now all it needs to be is just, you know, straightened up and fixed up and, you know, just the minor things at the end stretch, he'll take them off for the wedding day, but then they will go back on after my wedding day. So that's, a, that's definitely a plus side with these braces. Um, I know I realized that with the clear ones, I could have just done the clear ones, paid the extra money, and been able to keep the braces on for my wedding. But honestly, I, I really have to, to balance these things out uh, in, in a sense that I'm trying to pay for my teeth. I am trying to pay for a new home. I'm trying to pay for a wedding. Um, and then also you, you have to have expenses like um, tires, uh, different emergencies that you have to have that secondhand backup money on. So, and that I just, I, I have to be vigilant with when it comes to that, which is why these ones were the braces that I got. So, um, I, I'll keep you guys updated, especially, you know, what we all the end result is going to be obviously um it's most likely going to be the brackets again but we'll we'll cross our fingers and hope but um i'll check up with you guys when we get when i get done and kind of give you an update on sore if he was able to do anything uh my brackets if if they were able to alleviate some of this issue that I'm having or this this discouragedness that I'm having with the with the braces um, and just keep you updated today about you know what's gonna what's gonna happen what's gonna go on where my diet's gonna start heading and go from there so I will catch you guys up in a little bit I know later on uh, I'll have to go to the store to pick up some more of those gum brushes um, and then I'm gonna ask him for the the loops for the flaw, the dental floss to go through so I can do the actual brackets. Um, I don't need wax. I've got my toothpaste. I've got my mouthwash. So, uh, I'll catch you guys up when that happens. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, my loves, 
I got my bottom teeth in and they hurt obviously I think honestly what hurts the most is this canker sore down here that hurts a lot right now but if you just give me a minute let me pull out of here there they are there are my lovely bottom braces and as you can see there were no retainer options at this at this point um mainly because of the state that they're in and the plan that we have already uh, signed on to um sorry hold on try not to get in an accident um so uh bottom rockets are on Next appointment's in five weeks, so like the 25th of January, which will be a little difficult for me because uh, I'm actually going skiing on, I think it's the 28th, 29th, that whole weekend. So uh, it'll be fairly interesting on that appointment. Uh, they want me to, they didn't mess anything up. anything in regards to the uh, top braces today mainly because of the fact that uh, my consult I still haven't gotten the consult for uh, this baby tooth that needs to be pulled Ooh, that's a nice Chevy um, and uh, uh, because it has not in general been pulled sorry for the lighting goodness gracious that sun is bright um, mainly for that whole issue but you know I'm gonna go ahead and get that done uh, I gotta schedule that and they want it preferably before uh, there we go. Uh, they want that done preferably preferably god dang it before the next appointment for my braces will be so <sighs> let's see about all that I'm a little I'm st I still have that discouraged feeling, so, but, whatever. Um, I'm actually on my way to go grab a smoothie from Smoothie King, um, because I'm hungry, and then what I'm going to do is, I've had to pee for the longest time, I need to pee at some point, but I think I'm going to go to the store first and get more of my ortho, the, uh, nurse let me know that they actually make these pre-made ones so those packets that I was gonna get that you feed the floss through in order to get through the brackets that you get from the orthodontist she said that they ha they actually come pre-made in the store by Oral-B so I'm gonna go check that out see if I can find that um, go get my more of my gum brushes um, uh, I think that's about it Um, the foods that I'm going to be eating for the next few days, um, and then the oral care that I'm also going to be using for the braces. So the first thing is we got the Carb Smart Vanilla Ice Cream to watch our carbs, obviously. Um, I got two cans of each, so I got two cans of peaches and two cans of 
pears. Um, I got this tart cherry juice uh, because this mixed with Sprite is actually really good for, um, oh, well, not necessarily this, that's just the mixture that I use. Um, after working out, it's actually good for your um, muscles and regaining that muscle, storing what it needs to store, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? I got this uh, chocolate protein powder for uh, protein shakes that I'm going to make because obviously liquid diet, but I want to make sure that I have those nutrients, the proteins and everything that I'm going to need. Um, I got this chocolate almond milk to go with it. Obviously my bananas and my strawberries for those um, protein shakes. So the next thing that I got was this light and fit Greek vanilla yogurt. Um, I got three different linguines. I got lasagna, uh, chicken fried rice, and spaghetti with meatballs. Uh, the meatballs in this one I'm probably going to have to like, in the chicken I'm probably just going to have to like mush and swallow. More oatmeal, maple brown sugar, my favorite. I got some applesauce. I feel like this will be a little acidic, but I, I'll be okay. We'll see how that works. Now, moving into the more oral care of everything, um, I did talk to the dentist and they did, like I told you when I first left the orthodontist, that these pre-made uh, feeding floss that's already pre-fed. Um, so I did find those at Walmart. It's called the Oral-B super floss so that'll be fun um, to definitely try out I also um, got some new gum soft picks but I got a different kind this one's more um, uh, the, the bristles are thinner and uh, they have this curvature going on so that'll be definitely interesting to try out so that is actually the diet that I'm going to be using uh, I did buy a couple of other little things. Oh, so sorry. I got this Oral-B mouth sore uh, mouthwash. Because uh, it said uh, for mouth sores, including canker sores, cheek bites, braces, and denture irritations. Um, oral and gum irritations as well. So uh, definitely going to try this and um, hope it works and hope it keeps uh, some of these sores at bay. So, I'll let you know how that goes. So, calm down. So, just end things off. Penny says hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. Um, so, that's pretty much the diet and the um, oral care utensils that I'll be using for the next few weeks. Probably for the entire span of the braces until... Um, I have another update. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and bell notification to be notified when I post next. If you have any questions about any of the products that are bought here today, I will link some of them below, especially for the oral care. Um, and if you have any suggestions on healthier foods or healthier ways that, um, for this liquid diet, please don't forget to comment that down below. And other than that, I think I will see you guys later. Bye. Just see a little sleigh bell jingle and ring, jingle, 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 jingle.